All right, in this video, we're going to be doing mini max sum. So this question, it uh, gives us an array with five elements. So in this case, the example is one, three, five, seven, nine. And then our goal is we want to figure out what is the, uh, the, the mini min sum and what is the mini max sum. So what does mini mean? Mini means that we only care about four out of the five elements. So if we could only add up four elements, uh, what's the minimum sum? So in this case, it's going to be one, three, five, seven. And so if we sum them up, we get 16. And then the mini max sum, very similar, you get four out of the five elements. And then here we will have three, five, seven, nine. And that gives us 24. Now what you notice is the, the min sum, if you, can only ignore one element, then of course you're going to want to try and ignore the biggest number. Right? So here we just ignore nine, which is the biggest number. And then for the mini max sum, if you can ignore one element, you're going to want to ignore the smallest element, which is one. So to solve this problem, what we really want to keep track of is what's the minimum number in, in, in this array? What's the maximum number in this array? And then what's the total sum of this whole array? So one, three, five, seven, nine. Because if we have these three information, then when we want to output, which is our mini min sum, uh, space mini max sum, all we have to output here will be our total sum minus the maximum and space total sum minus the minimum. So this is how we're going to approach it. We're going to try and get the minimum, the maximum, and the total sum. So let's go ahead and start with our minimum. Now we don't know what the minimum is yet, so we'll just set it to the first element in our array. So in this case, it'll be one uh, for, for this example up here. Now we'll do the same thing for the maximum here. We'll just start with uh, zero, and this will also be one. And then we have our total sum. Now we don't know what our total is, so we'll start with zero and we'll, we'll accumulate it as we read through this array. Now we'll uh, read through our array with a simple for loop. Uh, here I'll opt for this uh, simplified for loop that just tells me let's go through every single number in our array. So every, for every single number, uh, what we can do is we can accumulate our array, our, our total sum. So we've seen a new number. So that's added to our total sum. Now you can write it this way, or if for a shorthand, you can do plus equals n, and these two mean the same thing. Now when we see a new number, what you wanna do is we wanna check to see, hey, is this a smaller number than my minimum? If it is, we wanna update our minimum. So here we'll have if uh, n is smaller than our minimum, then minimum is gonna be equal to this because we found a number that's smaller. Likewise, for, for max, if n is greater than max, then max is going to be equal to n. We found something bigger. So for a concrete case, uh, let's say we're n equals three right now. Uh, then here, total sum will be whatever total sum was before, plus three. Here, uh, with, with our minimum of one, nothing will change. But here, because three is larger than one, which is our max, uh, three, max is gonna be equal to three. So it's gonna get updated like that. Okay, so after we have all of this information, the last step we wanna do here is we want to print it out. So again, we wanna print out the mini min sum first and then the mini max sum. So we can just use this right up here and, and plop it down here. So we'll have total sum minus max. So that'll be one number separated with a space and then we'll have total sum minus the, uh, the minimum. Okay, so now we have this, and then let's, let's run through it. So using our example of array up here, let's just run through it in our head to make sure that it works. So here we start with zero, and then we're gonna loop through every single number. So that's one, three, five, seven, nine. So we start with one, uh, total sum plus equals one, so now we update this to one. Uh, one is not less than one, so nothing changes here. One is not greater than one, so nothing changes here, so we're done with one. Now we look at three. Here, the first line, this gets updated to one plus three, so we have four. Uh, 
4 is not smaller than 1, so nothing happens here. But you can see here for the max, max will get updated. Uh, 3 is bigger than max, which is 1 right now. So this becomes 3. Now we go on, we add 5. Here we have 5, and then this will still get updated. And then we add 7, so here we'll have 16. Oh, 16. And then here this becomes 7. And then lastly, we're going to read our last number, and this will become a cool 25, and this will become 9. So in this case, we were lucky because our first element was actually the smallest element, so this branch here never ran. So at the end here, what we'll print out is total sum, which is 25, uh, minus the max, which is 9, and this will give us our 16, and then here we'll have uh, maximum 25 minus 1, which gives us 24 as expected. So I'm going to give this a run, make sure that it works, and then we'll go over something that I even missed the first time. So in this uh, side description here, you can see that there is a constraint that each number will be, you know, less than 10 to, to the 9, which is okay. This fits within a 32-bit number. But the problem is, when you're doing this summations, you want to be careful of overflow. What if you add a number that's so big that it doesn't fit within 32 bits anymore? So indeed, you can see here, the output can be greater than a 32-bit integer. And we can run through the math, um, or you can look at my previous video called uh, A Very Big Sum, I believe, where I, I go through the math of how we can figure this out. But um, let's just take their hint, where the output can be greater than 32-bit integer, and remember here, and if we just search up data types in Java, you can see that ints only hold up to 32 bits, while long can go all the way to 64. So we'll, we will do 64 bits here. Uh, here we'll just change this into a long so it can hold up to 64 bits. And now uh, if we submit, everything should be fine. Anyway, so this, will, this is just like a very... Um, Kind of more of a problem solving question now, you know, trying to go from what do they mean by mini min sum to oh, I need to figure out min max and total sum. All right, that's it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.